Why few people are bald and why not others? Till 15 years of age, everyone has head full of hair. But after that, some people starts losing hair and then by 25 years or 30 years of age, few people go fully bald. Why is that? Why nature is against us? What I am doing wrong that is causing me the hair loss? These are the common questions asked by any hair loss patient. Welcome to my channel, Break the Snow. In this video, I am going to explain the real reason for hair loss, male pattern baldness and female pattern baldness explained in a simple method. Most of you might know the real reason for hair loss is DHT, dihydrotestosterone plus genetic factor. But there is another important reason for hair loss, that is PGD2. In 2012, scientists have found that PGD2 levels in the body can cause hair loss. Therefore, there are two main reasons for hair loss. One is DHT plus genetic factor. The second one is PZD2. Remember, PZD2 is easy to control and handle than DHT. Let's look at the first reason in detail. DHT is a hormone produced in the body by 5-alpha reductase enzyme. This enzyme converts the testosterone to DHT. This is a normal process in all human beings. Friends, know that DHT is very important hormone. After puberty, this hormone is responsible for male specific features like beard, mustache, sexual potency, genital functioning, semen production and so on. So DHT is very important for males. Then what about females? Females also have DHT but in a very minute fraction when compared to males. In females when the DHT is increased due to some reasons then females undergo what is called female pattern baldness. So hair loss is not due to DHT. Remember that hair loss is not due to DHT but it is due to a special gene. So the DHT plus this special gene causes hair loss or baldness. If you have just DHT and you do not have this gene then you are not going to be bald. But if you have this special gene that makes the whole difference. This special gene makes these hair follicles to become sensitive to DHT and then they start shedding away gradually. So friends, once again, remember that DHT is not the cause of hair loss, but it is DHT and the special gene that causes the hair loss. It is a combination that matters. Now, how can we control the hair loss? So there are two factors. One is DHT and the other one is gene. You cannot do anything with your gene because you cannot modify genes in human beings as of today. So the only thing that you can control is the DHT. So if you can lower the DHT, then you can reduce your hair loss, probably delay the baldness and in some cases reverse the hair loss. So what are the medications that we have to lower the DHT? FDA approved only one medicine called finasteride to lower the DHT levels. So this is the only FDA approved drug for hair loss. There is another medicine called dutasteride which is similar to the finasteride but it is more effective and more potent than finasteride. But dutasteride is not FDA approved for hair loss. There are some herbs like sapalmito which function similar to finasteride in lowering the DHT levels. But before you take sapalmito or finasteride, go and discuss with your doctor because DHT is an important hormone for males in developing male specific characteristics and male potency. Therefore, lowering the DHT levels may cause sexual side effects 
and hence it is important to get into discussion with a doctor before starting this drug. There are some natural remedies, for example, pumpkin seed oil and rosemary oil can also lower the DHT levels topically, but we need more studies to prove their effectiveness. Now let's discuss the second main reason for hair loss. This is recently discovered and I basically like this because it is easy to control and handle than DHT. Prostaglandin D2 or PGD2 is a lipid compound that binds to the receptors of hair follicles. When these levels are more than it inhibits the hair growth. Bald people seem to have too much levels of this PGD2. In short, more PGD2 than more chances of baldness and more hair loss. This is a new discovery and seem to be the real reason for male pattern baldness and female pattern baldness. So how to lower PGD2? This is simple and more easier than DHT. Just eat the foods which are rich in quercetin. Yes, just eat foods rich in quercetin to solve your hair loss problem. Quercetin is a flavonoid that is present in fruits and vegetables that give them the strong color. So scientists found that eating foods rich in quercetin can actually lower the PGD2 levels and therefore can lower your hair loss and also cure pattern baldness. Foods like onion, broccoli, kale, cranberry, sweet potato have loads of quercetin. Also quercetin is available as supplements. So in short quercetin lowers PGD2 which reduces hair loss and treats pattern baldness. So far we have seen the two main reasons. One is the DHT plus genetic factor and the other one is PGD2 levels. To fight DHT and genetic factor issues you have to take Sao Palmito or Finasteride after discussing with the doctor. This helps you lower the DHT and can reverse hair loss. Along with that you can take supplements or foods which are rich in quercetin that basically lowers PGD2 and reverses hair loss. So there are two ways you can handle the hair loss and cure hair loss forever. Now let us see the other minor reasons of hair loss. I call these as minor reasons because they don't cause significant hair loss in general. These are high sugar and high salt consumption, iron deficiency, thyroid issues, vitamins deficiency, chemical based shampoos and topical applications, stress, hormonal imbalances, especially in females, chemotherapy and other treatments, they cause temporary hair loss, and chlorinated water or fluoride water. The hair loss due to these minor factors can be easily corrected and most of the times the hair loss associated with these factors or with these minor factors is temporary and reversible. But the hair loss due to DHT and PZD2 is significant. So if you are suffering from significant hair loss and approaching baldness phase then you have to focus on the major reasons than worrying about these minor causes. Please like our video and subscribe. Tap on bell notification to get more interesting videos.